Welcome everyone. Now I'm going to be covering for you guys how to do this with a certain core. So my previous video had to do with AF Yellow as the only 6 star and now I'll show you guys how to do it with only Surtur as the 6 star. These are the risks that we're going to be taking. It's the exact same as the AF Yellow core. Such that we're going to be taking the Risk 3 Mudrock Golem tag Then afterwards we're also going to be taking the attack up, attack down, HP down, DP regen, redeployment, uh, 5 deployment limit, Tiles ban and the rubble breaking. Everything else without taking them because they're gonna make it very difficult for us to handle this. So for the squad, there's a few operators that I would need you guys to take note. The front five operators are what I consider as the core operators. So you're gonna need two single target casters, one slower, and then a vanguard and a healing defender. So now there's five core operators, and then we're also gonna bring in a surter along. The rest of the operators here are bodies, but you would want to bring at least two fast redeploys and there's a very strong reason for that later on. So in this case, I'm going to bring Gravel and Yato considered to be my fast redeploy. Alright, let's borrow Surta and get going. Okay, as per usual, we're going to start off with Myrtle at the very beginning. Pop the skill and then face the go in. Whensoever there's enough DP, I'll throw in a haste to add more damage to the pack. Now let's have a skill again. And then place Amiya after. Whensoever you have enough DP, you can place your healing defender in. Now for the Mudrock Zealot that you see, basically this hammer boy here, instead of only using Fudenko's skill as you guys see in my AF Yellow core strategy video, we actually have to pop two people's skill because the reason why AF Yellow works well is that she buffs the caster, so her damage and the other single target caster's damage is improved. But in this case, there isn't that improvement and it's going to take a little bit longer in order to kill him. So how I'm going to handle it is that I'm going to alternate Fudenko's skill and then at the same time, uh, I ensure that it's either Hay skill or Amiya skill that runs concurrently with it. So in this case, it's Podenko skill and Amiya skill that's working out. Later on, for the next Marok Zealot, then I will use a, a Podenko skill and Hay skill together. Just like that. Okay, you can remove Myrtle now. Let me just heal. Place Surta here when you see this particular uh, metallurgy is appearing at about count 15. Then when the Defense Crusher appears, activate certain skill, let her kill that Defense Crusher, and then remove her. Still a bit of a waiting game, we're waiting out for the second Golem to appear. Okay, another Zealot has been seen, so activate Potenko's skill along with another single target caster, so let's activate his one. Now for this particular golem, you're going to be wanting to stall him early on. So we're going to stall him 7 times or with 7 bodies. So this is the first body, body number 1, and then stall him with another body, body number 2, and then stall him with another body, body number 3, make it number 4, make it number 5, and then this is 6. Okay, that's a lot of bodies. Don't use up all of your melee operators because they don't have their redeployment as fast, so use your fast redeploy. In this case, let's use Gravel again. Alright, so there's 7 times of blocking him. Then next up, we've got the Mud Rock herself appearing. You will want to block her out, which I'll show you guys in a bit how to do so. Okay, activate Fudenko's skill now. Thereafter, hold my rock back with whatever operators that you have. In this case, I throw in Myrtle. Then we throw in Yato as well. And then place Serta right behind. At this point, activate Surtur's skill. Okay, 
and just like that, it will be plenty sufficient to get rid of Big Bob that follows behind as well. Yep, that is the circle call. So use 7 bodies against the second golem, and then use your remaining bodies against Mud Rock to hold her back. And then afterwards you can place Surtur in, and then do, let Surtur do the killing on both Mud Rock and Big Bob at about the same time. Alright, hope it's a good strategy for you guys to use, and I shall see you guys in the next video where I'll be showing the daily Risk 8 guide. Alright, bye bye.